beginning, what the Celts did is they lined up their two armies and they sent out their two warrior champions. These two people fought. Whoever lost, that side had to pay the other tribe so many cattle, so many slaves, and the battle is over. However, once they started having contact with people like the Greeks and Romans, they fought a more melee type of battle. So when you went into battle, you fought back to back with a partner. And that partner was usually your spouse. Because if you can't trust your spouse to guard your back, who can you trust? And the women were some of the fiercest fighters, for both men and women got weapons training. Again, that's part of this frontier mentality going on. Now, as Rome moved westward and began to conquer these people, it became very fashionable for the Roman generals to bring a, a historian with them. Hollister was a very famous historian, but like most Romans, not, you know, like most Romans born in Rome, he thought anybody who was not born in Rome was a barbarian. But when he wrote this quote, he was talking about the Celts. You meet a barbarian, you have trouble. You meet his wife, you're dead. And, it, and they really believed that these women were very, very fierce fighters. If you had two armies on the battlefield and you wanted to clear that battlefield, you sent naked, pregnant, screaming women out onto this battlefield because the Celts believed, they didn't want to mess with this at all because they believed that a woman creating life in her body was channeling so much power, nobody wanted to mess with it at all. So this